Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the implicit weight and how you can implement implicit weight in Selenium WebDriver. Okay, so uh, let's understand first the WebDriver interface and see what is available or what methods are available in this WebDriver interface and how we can use the methods that are available here to implement the implicit weight. And uh, I have explained you in detail what implicit, explicit and fluent weight is in Selenium WebDriver. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please go through and watch it before you come to the implementation part. So I'll directly go ahead and implement, uh, you know, the implicit weight and I'll show you the practical example where you might be required to use the implicit weight and the issues that you might face in the synchronization of the web driver you know automation when you are do doing the automation so in this web driver interface if i scroll down uh, there were a couple of methods that we have already discussed and we have already discussed about this manage uh, you know um, uh, method as well which returns you know an options interface okay so we use this manage method to you know uh, maximize the browser window okay so let's see what is available in this options interface what methods are available so once we once we say manage then it will return you know like you can use what to manage basically you can manage cookies or you know delete cookies etc or we we did the manage uh, window okay so we use the window uh and in the window it returned the another interface which is webdriver dot window and then this interface has different operations that we use so we use the maximize uh, operation to maximize the window now going back to this implicit weight we have the timeouts as well okay so if we click on uh, you know uh, sorry if we go to the webdriver dot timeouts interface it will give me the methods that are available there okay and now you can see i have the method implicitly wait in that particular interface so webdriver.timeout interface has this particular you know method that i can use to implement implicit wait in selenium webdriver there are other methods like page load timeout uh, so what this method will do is it will set the amount of time to wait for a page load to complete before throwing an error so if you want your page to be loaded completely uh, before you know performing any operation you can use the you know page load timeout um, operation or the method and then you have the set script timeout which sets the amount of time to wait for an asynchronous script to finish before it will throw an error so these two are other two methods but in this one we'll explain about the implicitly wait and where you can use implicit wait okay so let's go back and go to the uh, eclipse id i'll take an example of the mouse over uh, and uh, the ebay website so i'll simply copy mouse over uh, code and i'll say implicit wait demo okay and i'll show you why we need implicit weight and what issues you might be facing you might be you, you might face when you are you know doing the automation so uh, let me open this so here you see that i'm launching ebay.com okay so let me go to the website and on this website i am um, hovering over uh, this electronics um, category and then I want to click on appliances okay so in the mouse over example I have already shown you that we can use the actions class and then uh, you know uh, use the method move to element to move the to that particular uh, web element and then perform that mouse over operation so I've just copied this whole code from uh, the mouse over uh, example if you want to watch that that particular tutorial go back and watch the series and you will understand the mouse over operation so now after the mouse over operation uh, what we'll do is we want to click on this appliances link okay so i'll simply inspect this link okay and i'll copy the xpath okay i'll simply say right click copy xpath and then i'll say driver dot find element by xpath and I'll provide the XPath expression and then I'll say click 
okay so i want to click on the subcategory within that electronics category all right so i want to go to electronics and then click on the subcategory appliances and i want to see if this works or not so in this case i'm not putting any weight in our code okay so it's simply you know launching the website maximizing the window then it is um, you know finding the web element where we want to hover or uh, perform the mo uh, mouse movement operation so it will hover on uh, that particular category uh, with this you know line here and then i want to click on the subcategory so this is the x path or the locator for the subcategory within the electronics category and i'm clicking on that okay let's try to execute and see the results and then we'll analyze the results and see what can be done or what uh, whether it works fine or it doesn't work fine so it will open ebay.com it will hover over um, the category you can see it hovered over electronics category and then it didn't perform any other operation okay so let's see what the error is so here you can see that it has thrown an exception and the exception is at this particular line and it is not able to find the element so element not interactable all right so this is a clear uh, you know uh, scenario where it is the problem with the synchronization okay and these are sort of scenarios that you will uh, you know find in the actual implementation of your selenium automation and that's where you need to use the weights accordingly whichever suits best at that particular instance so in this case let's put some weight here and i'm not going to so till now what i have been doing is i have been doing you know like thread dot sleep okay and then provided you know like some weight like two seconds wait there okay so what i used to do is uh, uh, after the hover mouse over i just used two seconds sleep okay let's try doing that and uh, then see whether it uh, you know executes successfully or uh, this test passes or not and then i'll explain why you shouldn't be using you know the hard weight which is thread dot sleep uh, of two seconds uh, and why you should be going for the implicit weight so it will maximize the page go to that electronics category and then wait for two seconds and then clicked on appliances right so this time it clicked on appliances successfully okay so there was no uh, synchronization issue this time and you can see that it is on the home appliances which is a subcategory successfully now with this particular thread dot sleep this is basically you know like hard weight and we are uh, you know imposing a, a mandatory two seconds uh, you know sleep within our code this is not a good practice you shouldn't be using it unless until you are just debugging your code or you know um, just learning uh, so that is why we'll be using implicit weight okay and we have explained the implicit weight uh, in uh, the previous example we have learned uh, what exactly implicit weight is so implicit weight we can define the maximum timeout right so what we'll do is to implement implicit weight we'll say driver dot manage okay as we have uh, done for the windows and then manage will return another interface and then we'll call the methods within that interface so uh, we'll say timeout right so timeouts is another interface and then uh, we'll say uh, implicitly wait so you can see the method is there implicitly wait right and then we have to specify the time so say for example i want to wait at the time uh, 10 seconds and then the unit right so you have to create the time unit which is the java class and time unit when you'll say dot then you'll say specify whether it's days hours seconds minutes nanoseconds etc okay so i'll say 10 seconds wait basically there so implicit weight so what this implicit weight means is if you hover over this method it will uh, you know like you specify the amount of time the driver should wait when searching for an element if it is not immediately present okay and this is the maximum amount of, amount of time the moment that particular web element 
is visible or available on the page implicit weight you know it uh, the weight will be over or it, and it will move forward to the next step so that's the beauty of using the dynamic weight instead of you know the the hard coded weight uh, like thread dot sleep so in the dynamic weight it will keep looking for say, you know the web element or in the in, ter in terms of implicit weight it will look for the web element as soon as uh, web element is found it will move further okay and you don't have to necessarily wait for two seconds so as in previous example i put um, thread dot sleep of two seconds so the script will definitely pause for two seconds before moving further to the next step but in the case of implicit weight if the web element is available uh, within one second the script will move further you know just after you know the element is found and it won't wait for the timeout that you have specified here. This is the max timeout that you specify. So for example, in the 10 second uh, as well, uh, the, the web element is not visible, then that the script will time out in that case. Okay, so let me save it and run it again and uh, see the results that uh, with the implicit weight, the script is running perfectly fine. So it will maximize the browser window, uh, go to the category electronics and it should click on appliances. You can see that it has clicked on the appliances as soon as it is able to find and it didn't wait for that long. As in the previous example, we put the hard code of two seconds. It had waited there for two seconds before moving to the next step. So that's the beauty of using the implicit weight and how you will be using or how you can implement implicit weight in Selenium WebDriver. It's nothing uh, tricky, simple, you know, just one line that you have to remember, implicitly weight, and then specify the time unit and, uh, you know, the time unit, uh, whether it's seconds or minutes or, you know, days, etc. from uh, this, you know, like time unit class, right? So you can see that it is you know, an enum, it's a special class. All right, so that's all about the implicit weight in Selenium WebDriver and how you can implement it. Hope you like the tutorial. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.